and welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors, we're back into the wild edibles. It's still spring here in central Pennsylvania. It's kind of getting to be late spring. It's almost the calendar year of summer. Um, but we're right here at the edge of our garden. We're getting ready to weed the garden a little bit more. And we found another wild edible in our garden. This time, it's a plant called amaranth. Okay, a lot of times you'll hear people call it pigweed or red root. I always grew up calling it red root. Okay, but the, tech, the proper name for it is amaranth. But you'll, if you search it, you'll still find it under red root or pigweed. Okay, this particular plant grows wild here in Pennsylvania. Okay, you'll see the root. You can see the, the, the reddish color to it, the pinkish color. That is where the, the name red root derives from. Okay, you'll see it's got nice, more of a rounded shape. Once again, this is another one of them plants, kind of like the lamb's quarters we've covered in the past, where you can eat the whole plant, it'll get really tall, you don't want to eat the stem at that point, you just want to eat the leaves. Um, this is also another one that people consider a weed, because it grows in your garden. It grows along the edges of your lawn. It grows just about anywhere, and it's another. It's one of them plants that once you have it, it's really tough to get rid of. Um, one thing you, you'll, you'll find is I don't use any herbicides. I use no herbicides whatsoever. This is not a true green chem lawn here. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of herbicides at all. At all. So that's how we end up with so many of these things around our garden. And, you know, that's not such a bad thing because even if I don't want to eat this, we can still, when we weed out our garden, we can take this to our chickens, we can take this to our pigs, we can take this to our cows. Any of our animals would absolutely enjoy this, but at the same time, we can get free food out of it too. So it can be free feed or free food. And that's always a good thing for us. Um, you know, I'm all about, you know, saving money where you can. And if we can save money on food, why shouldn't we just go out and pick it for free out of our garden? Just something to think about. And until next time, keep your line wet and out of the trees.